to come and consult with them. Some of the, the friends who went there have written something. I mentioned one or two letters in my book. He had made his decision. He was renouncing to mundane life, as we understand, with all this amusement, the lotus eating, with all this pressure, with all this amusement, etc. And he started scalpering which he lost until the very end in his life. And he thought to them, in, the, in my book, there is a drawing made by a very fine Persian artist, Persian by knowing some women. And it is from a photograph I had a small photograph and I gave it to him and I said, Mr. Sonny, will you make a portrait natural side of the He said he gave me a month of a time. And a month later he brought the picture and made me proud. Was the garden alive in the early days of February? who was carrying some flowers in his hands to bring on the grave of the Lord. And the other friends who were there, they all agreed that they could do nothing we show a friend as for the Bible. He had this great wisdom with him already, as he was taking the, what you call the, the, the rudder, the rudder of the destiny of the shape. <laughs> also, and uh, he started, and he started the one thing. I make a, a, a step back for. Once I, I, I say to the garden, we love the garden. What will happen when we have millions of people in the faith? How are we going to rule them? How are we going to keep them together? He said, let's wait until we get there. That's what his answer, great wisdom. And now we are in this interim. Let's wait until we get there. What did he do the first thing? I don't know, I can't speak very much. He said, we wait until we wait at the earth. And the first thing he did, ask a famous lawyer, American, wealthy family, who could, uh, a lawyer who could practice before the illegal, the, 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 the uh, tribunal in at the end. His name was Montford Mills. He was a bit somewhat older than myself, but he was a, a great friend of mine, a fond gentleman. When his wife died, he went to live in uh, one of the university clubs there. And, uh, a very likely man who was, uh, I think he was uh, the very first chairman of the National Assembly of American Canada. But what did he do, ask him? To make a book of uh, The word is not rule, but we let it come to me. I'm a little tired. We don't even feel well today. A book of a procedure. Have you ever seen a book of a procedure? 
I say, anyone, I say, wait a minute, now you don't know that they answer the course, you are out of the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen a book of a procedure? Yes. The first one made it on the structure of a short film. I'm sure they never seen it. Whatever I go and ask, they've never seen it, they don't know anything about it. And they, they invent things, invent things. There is a book of prestige, dated 1922. I've been losing my breath for years to tell National Assembly to use the book of procedure made by instruction of Schoenfeld. Nobody knows where the book is. Nobody knows what to do with it. They all invent. I, I hear the things that they, they are they, un, unbelievable. I tell you, friends, all the distress and uh, and the clashes which ever place in national assemblies and local assemblies are because they don't know what the book of the procedure is. And the, before the celebration of the centenary of the bad declaration, he had the book enlarged and final. And it dated 1944. I have it. The National Service Suite, and I has a, a photocopy. I don't know if they ever read it. And if they were not read it, I recommend it to them to study, and make a committee and study together, and adopt the book of the procedure. I've seen an assembly you know, trained, I shouldn't say this thing, but uh, I'm on my way out, mm -hmm. and nobody will be getting me this thing. Conflict of the for nonsensical matter. I've seen an assembly where they take charity to try to beat each other. I've gone to National Assembly in a room full of smoke. You could not see anymore. I walk away. This is not the thing of God. It is a thing. And the reason is that why don't you use it? No, they know better. They put in a great uniform with pinnacles or whatever you call it, feathers and uh, spears in the hand, and they go into the assembly, I'm going to tell them something today, and this is happening all the time. This is not You want to make Scandinavia the leading country of the faith in the world? You start anew. We don't understand any sympathy, no embracing, embracing <coughs> A relative. You can love a person without embracing and kissing it and give your life for that person. We should, we should realize we are an example of order and perfection. Order and perfection. Even in words written in the, in the, in the writing of the Bible and the law and the master points to the way to perfection. And what a joy to me. You don't go and look yourself in the mirror and find out if the rouge is in its right place. You look on your conscience and the conscience says, you're doing too well. No. And so we had this wonderful uh, Plan, the seven year plan. I remember myself, I knew when to my wife and went to Italy. But in, in 48, we had a year seven already. And in the following year, and we had no 
five years from the Romans, I was very distressed. They're really distressed. Like it, they were taking the nails above my finger. Italy, bulletin of pioneer comes from England. Italian government is looking for pioneer. I would, they were just smashing my They they just let him, they making things new there. I tell you, part of my illness is this. I might be mad that they might, they might put me in, a, in one of these straight jackets that they put on the people. It is. It is. You come. You must receive the tense steps backwards. Please. You don't know what the joy is of accomplishment. In the world of the spirit. I don't think you feel like the angel, but perhaps there are some friends that are rather stout. I don't think they can grow wings so fast to the world. But it is a, a spiritual lightness that makes you forget the old you thing and gives you joy and friendship. Open all the friendship. Is the joy of achievement, and this is what we show with them now. I think that somebody is making a sign to me. The hour has passed a long time ago. I am sorry. The, it didn't work many things, it didn't work, it was the way I want. But uh, uh, there is much more, I should say. But, uh, we say we have no time, by tomorrow we all, everybody starts to pack and everybody goes away. And, oh, we have been at school, oh, we want to, we have 3,000 persons a day, and the two million feet children, and then we're running, running around and so on. But this is the difficulty. Recommendation. Review all your policy of your national assembly. Make as many committees as you can. Sugar Friendly is about 100 committees. And induce them to work in cooperation and enjoy with you. Not to solve a problem, but to play a game in which you win a great prize. This is one. Any more international contacts. Don't think that you are a Dane or you are a Swede, you are a better than the other one. Oh, these people, they are those Swedes, they make it square, they go, no, 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 so on, so on. Make friends. Have this meeting more often. Not numerous like right that. Live with the children in the nursery. And when the, you get it together, you speak sin. How can we do this? How we can embellish it, how we can make contacts with the world. You know, the Italians sometimes, they, 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 I, I don't have anything anymore with the Italians. They go in front of a church and leave a pamphlet to harass the priest. But this is nonsense. This is not the way to spread it. You spread the faith with dignity. With dignity. With dignity. You are the ambassador of the greatest kingdom in the world. Dignity. The guardian of play for dignity constantly. Make everything with dignity. He didn't like shabby people come around and do it. No, we didn't. We are uh, not selling. But the, the guardian used to say to me, you make a gift. The best gift you can give to any living man is to speak of 
how to go over it. Yeah. You can keep giving a diamond ring to your wife and a necklace. It is useless. But to the world, spend dignity with dignity. I, I don't bring myself an example because uh, I'm not an example of anything. I'm, a, I'm an example of a broken bones so now. <laughs> don't dignity, the dignity. You know the dignity? Very few kings are elected with dignity. One man who I, I have loved in the early and something is after was the king of Samoa. Three generations back, they were uh, anthropologists. They were a beating men. But everything he did, he did with dignity. I love him, I still love him. I love him, I love his son, I love his wife. They're both dead now. And he will soon go. Because we saw it. Dignity. I have met many people. I have met scientists. I have met, I have met a Nobel Prize. I'm not bragging here. Because I, mean, I don't get a material recompense and I don't care. But with dignity. You bring the most precious jewel. The most Precious gift is like giving uh, uh, the Buckingham Palace to somebody, even better than Buckingham Palace. Or Barmore Castle and so Much more than that. The entire empire of, uh, of uh, uh, the United States, and they don't call them empire, they are the Democrats. <laughs> you, you, you give uh, when you speak of the faith, you speak of the unity. And you don't feel that you are, you know, uh, Jinnah Bufa said, I was corrected in the pronunciation, but I cannot do any better. He was uh, all sure. Put the, Iron, iron shoes in the horses. And he was the greatest teacher of the family. The, the chairman wants me to stop and I need to stop and I don't want to quarrel with him. He is stronger than I am. <laughs> Somebody came and very Mickey Mickey to me and he said, you know, tomorrow we have to speak to the youth between 0 and 25. <laughs> <laughs> I can speak to 0 and 25. <laughs> you bread, if you come here, you better bring your shields. Because egg stones are coming down <laughs> on your Protect your head. Protect your chest in every way. Wear an armor, a mask against the glass, and then I'll speak to you. Dr. J. Carey, on behalf of all of the people here, I would like to thank you deeply for sharing with us your recollections, your memories of service to the Blessed Duty, of service to Shoghi Effendi. I think we're all touched and moved deeply by what you have shared with us now, by the fact that you are here among us. I think many, as you said in the beginning, we won't put any limitations on God. And you are here today and that is a witness to that fact. So thank you very much.